to my channel. Today I'm going to give an overview of what you can expect when taking advanced higher chemistry. This course enhances your knowledge of chemistry. It builds your problem solving skills, but also importantly, it helps to develop your independent study skills in preparation for further or higher education or employment. This course is divided into three units that can be taught in any order or mixed together. The unit title reflects the main divisions of chemistry as an academic subject. Unit one is inorganic and physical chemistry. Inorganic chemistry is the study of substances that are not carbon-based. Physical chemistry is about how reactions happen. The electromagnetic spectrum topic looks at calculations relating to energy levels and how this leads to different spectra. This allows more detailed information about atomic structure to be covered. Based on what you have learned in previous years, final detail that answers some of your questions about the periodic table are covered in this topic. A simple calculation to allow you to identify the shapes of molecules with ease is introduced. For the first time, you get to find out more about the transition metals, their reactions and compounds. Equilibria and ways to influence the position of equilibrium was covered in higher. You will now apply this knowledge and new calculations to acids and bases. In addition to learning more about acids and bases, you will also learn about salts and indicators in more detail. Reaction feasibility is a study of whether or not a reaction will happen. Different calculations are introduced to allow you to make predictions on feasibility. Kinetics is a study of how quickly reactions are taking place, and again, calculations are introduced to allow mechanisms of reaction to be determined. Unit 2 is Organic Chemistry and Instrumental Analysis. Organic chemistry is a study of substances that are carbon-based and is extremely important for the chemistry of life. Instrumental analysis is used to determine structure of compounds. The unit looks at molecular orbitals. This links back to previous knowledge on bonding and helps to explain why some things bond and why others don't. Whilst you have came across isomers previously, you'll now look at stereoisomers, molecules that have the same connectivity but different structure, leading to changes in properties in certain circumstances. The biggest part of this unit is in synthesis, where a number of different chemical families are re revisited and new families added. As in previous years, systematic naming and structure is key here. For each family, the properties, synthesis and reactions of substances are covered. Chemical analysis and spectroscopy cover different techniques that are required to find the structure of compounds. Each technique often provides part of a jigsaw and when used together you can solve the problem of different structures. Finally, in the pharmaceutical topic you're given an introduction to the world of drugs and medicine through the structure of compounds and their action. Unit 3 is research in chemistry. This unit is often taught throughout the year as it helps to give you the skills needed for your project. Gravimetric analysis is analysis using a balance. Different techniques and the associated calculations are covered. Volumetric analysis is the use of titrations. Two new types of titration are introduced at advanced higher, complexometric titration and back titrations. Although new in their application to you, the calculations associated are very familiar. Stoichiometric calculations are calculations based on moles. The calculations involved in advanced higher are based on all the calculations you have came across in national five and higher. The difference now is they will be used in multi-step calculations. Practical techniques cover the techniques of separation and purification that are necessary at advanced higher. The formal SQA assessment is split into two parts, an exam and a project. The final exam is three hours long. It has 110 marks and is split into two parts. 25 multiple choice questions followed by 85 marks of extended response questions. The extended response answers include answers of one or two words, a sentence or two, calculations, graphs, diagrams, explain fully and open-ended questions. The best way to prepare for this is to practice past papers which can be accessed on the SQA website. The project is carried out in and out of class and is worth 25% of your grade. There is no time limit on the work, although you are advised to take no more than 10 to 15 hours for your practical work. You'll be allowed to choose your own topic through discussion with your teacher about feasibility and each pupil in a class will investigate something different. You'll work independently to plan and gather information. You'll need to gather information on the internet or literature in addition to your practical work. You'll be given a detailed candidate guide to use throughout your project. You need to keep detailed records of your work as you will need this to help you write up your report. You'll write up a report of around 2,500 to 4,500 words to submit to the SQA for marking. I really hope you enjoy your advanced higher chemistry course I have lots of helpful videos for you to use throughout the year and more will be added so subscribe to be notified when they're uploaded. 
Follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Kim for updates on new videos and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for daily flashcards. Bye for now.